Hi everyone. Now in this class we will go through another very important reaction of aldehydes, which is named as Cannizzaro reaction. Right? This is another famous reaction of aldehydes. Right? Now in the previous video lecture we have seen aldol condensation and we have seen simple aldol condensation. Then we have seen. Then we have talked about crossed aldol condensation. Then we talked about your intramolecular aldol condensation. Here also. Similarly, we'll look at Cannizzaro reaction, right? Then we'll, we'll which occurs between same molecules, right? Then we'll look at cross Cannizzaro reaction where we have different aldehyde molecules. Then we'll look at intramolecular Cannizzaro reaction that takes place within the same molecule, right? So Cannizzaro reaction, and as we said that aldol condensation occurs between those compounds that contains alpha hydrogens right in canizoro reaction it is reverse here canizoro reaction occurs between those compound between those aldehydes in those aldehydes that do not contain alpha hydrogens right and this is a reaction where one molecule of aldehyde will undergo oxidation and another molecule of aldehyde will undergo reduction so one will get reduced at the cost of other will get that will get oxidized right because if one is getting because the reaction is actually taking place between two molecules if one is getting reduced it is getting reduced because it has other molecule that can be oxidized so one is getting oxidized at the rate at the cost of other right so we call it a disproportionation reaction where oxidation and reduction is taking place one molecule is oxidizing and other is reducing right so basically this is a first important thing is this occurs in those aldehydes that do not contain do not contain alpha hydrogens right so that means HCHO and your C6H5CHO. These two aldehydes do not contain alpha hydrogen, right? So it will undergo aldol condensation. It will undergo aldol condensation. Now, if I talk about this aldehyde, right? This is your alpha carbon. These are your alpha hydrogen. So it contains alpha hydrogen. So this will not show your Cannizzaro reaction. Right, and the second important point is it is a disproportionation reaction. Disproportionation reaction. Disproportionation reaction. Which means disproportionation reaction means self oxidation, self oxidation and reduction. It will itself undergo oxidation and reduction. And since I said one will oxidize at the cost of other, since we have only aldehyde, so we need to see when what will get formed when a molecule of aldehyde will reduce and when a molecule of aldehyde is oxidized, right? And this reaction take pl takes place in presence of concentrated alkali. Very important, right? So I just mention it over here takes place in presence of concentrated sodium or potassium hydroxide say concentrated sodium hydroxide right say 50 percent concentrated sodium hydroxide and this is your molecule of CHO aldehyde so since it is self oxidation and reduction Right, and the action is taking place in presence of sodium hydroxide. So when it will oxidize, it will form COOH, a carboxylic acid. And when it will reduce, right, it will change into an alcohol, CH2OH. Right, just remember this basic thing. When we say disproportionation, that is self-oxidation and reduction. Since only aldehydes containing no alpha hydrogen is involved in Cannizzaro reaction, so when one will oxidize, it will form a carboxylic acid, and when other will reduce, it will form a it will form a alcohol. Right? You can see from the very basic thing. Or when we say oxidation, it means 
more oxygen in the product right so when it gets oxidized you have one oxygen atom added to it so this is oxidizing when CHO will get oxidized it will form carboxylic acid right so this is a carboxylic group right and now when we say reduce when you when we say reduction when this CHO aldehyde group will, will reduce reduction means addition of hydrogen or removal of oxygen so let's see in the product here you have more hydrogen as compared to CHO so this is getting reduced right to form alcohol now since we have sodium hydroxide when carboxylic acid will form it will react with sodium hydroxide this carboxylic group or carboxylic acid and you will see that this sodium salt of carboxylic acid will form in the reaction right so this is the basic of reaction now when Kanizoro reaction takes place between same aldehydes we call it a simple Kanizoro reaction when it takes place between different aldehydes it's a crossed Kanizoro reaction so let's look into simple Kanizoro reaction first right in simple Kanizoro reaction we will take HCHO right plus HCHO right this reaction will take place in presence of in presence of concentrated sodium hydroxide one it will form one of the molecule will undergo oxidation and the other will undergo reduction right so one that will undergo oxidation right if you look at this one which will undergo oxidation it will form H when this will undergo oxidation the CHO will change into HCOO right like I said this carboxylic acid will further react with this sodium hydroxide to give you sodium salt of carboxylic acid in this case sodium salt of formic acid right sodium formate the other molecule let's say this it will undergo it will undergo reduction to form CH2OH right so what it will form is H this will undergo reduction to form CH2OH right or I can write it like this if I remove this hydrogen from here CH3OH methanol alcohol is formed and this is formed sodium formate is formed I hope this is clear right let's quickly look at the mechanism of this reaction then we will look at cross Kanizoro reaction right mechanism it's it's simple it has again three steps like we had in other reaction and all condensation right first step would be first step of it would be that OH group like you have this HCOO H this is attacked by base to form this right hydroxyl ion attacks on an aldehyde molecule right containing no alpha hydrogen to form an anion right this is your this hydroxyl from this base will attack formaldehyde molecule to form this anion right now this anion right so actually this mechanism occurs via hydride hydride ion transfer remember hydride ion transfer right now the anion thus formed attacks on the second molecule of aldehyde this anion will attack on the second molecule of aldehyde second step attacks on the second molecule of aldehyde right where this hydride ion would be transferred here right this would be transferred here and when it this moves here it will become plus
right? You have minus sign, yeah, and this gets transferred. It has hydride ion transfer, and this hydride ion transfer takes place in the second step, right? Now, in the third step, these two will, this hydrogen ion will get transferred here. This proton will be transferred here. Right? So when this proton will get transferred, this proton will be transferred. This proton. What it will form is, this is your carboxylic group, right? This is your carboxylic group, acid will form and the other is when this will, this H will transfer here, OH will form. Right? CH3, OH will get formed. Right? This is how your methanol get formed. Right, and this carboxylate ion, this is a carboxylate ion, HCOOH, right, which will further react with sodium hydroxide to give you sodium formate. So this is the mechanism of our reaction. And the important thing is it occurs via hydride ion transfer. Remember that. Three steps. I'll repeat. The first step is the hydroxyl ion from base, right, will attack one molecule, first mo one molecule of formaldehyde to form this anion. When it will come here, when it will attack this, you get a negative charge here. Now this anion will attack the second molecule of formaldehyde, right, with the hydride ion transfer. It will transfer the hydride ion, right, like this. This hydride ion will move here to form this, right, and this will remain as it, as it is. Now these two will react with one another in the third step to form to form an alcohol and a carboxylate. This carboxylate will further react with sodium hydroxide to give you sodium formate. Right? And this is your fast reaction. The first one is your fast reaction and this one is your slow reaction. Right? Hydride ion transfer is a slow step reaction. Hydride ion transfer is a slow step reaction which will determine the rate of reaction. Right? I hope this, it, it is clear. Right? The mechanism is, is clear. And how this reaction occurs when this aldehyde molecule, one is oxidized to carboxylic, the other is reduced to alcohol. Right? And it occurs in the presence of concentrated sodium hydroxide. Now let's quickly look at uh, one reaction, cross Kanizoro reaction, where we don't have same molecules but different molecules of aldehydes. Right? So the simple reaction would be in cross Kanizoro reaction or let's quickly look at one more reaction right let's just will become it will be good if you look at just one more reaction benzyl behind in presence of sodium hydroxide 50 percent one will oxidize Right, and then which this when it will oxidize, it will form carboxylic acid, which will further react with sodium hydroxide to give you CONA. C. Right, sodium benzoate. The other will get reduced. CH2OH. This is your benzyl alcohol. This is how it takes place. Right now, we will look into crossed Kanizoro reaction. Crossed Kanizoro, where we will take now different aldehydes, not the same ones. Right? Let's take benzyl dehyde. And since I, in the beginning I said that the aldehydes that we are taking in Kanizoro reaction would not be containing any alpha hydrogens, right? So now we'll take formaldehyde and the other is your benzaldehyde. 
Right? Between Focus these two. HCHO plus C6H5CHO. Right? Now, in these types of reaction, this is of synthetic value. Right? This is of use. Because whenever you take formaldehyde in Canizaro reaction, it will always lead to its oxidation. If you have formaldehyde, it will always get oxidized. The other will get reduced. Right? Just remember this. So in presence of concentrated sodium hydroxide 50%, this will always get oxidized. So it will form, as per this, it will form H. H then CHO will form COH HCOOH plus sodium HCOONA HCOONA plus this will get reduced so it will form C6H5CH2OH benzyl alcohol right I hope this is clear so important thing in crossed Canizaro reaction is if you have formaldehyde then it's the formaldehyde which will always get oxidized to formic acid. So if you have formaldehyde, then formaldehyde will always oxidizes, oxidizes to form formic acid which will further react to form sodium formate to form HCONA. This is your sodium formate, right? I hope this is clear. Right now, let's look into another reaction, which is, as I said in the beginning, or 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 let's look at one more. Uh, let's look at one more uh, reaction of crossed aldol condensation. Let's take a different type of a compound. Right, that will. Make your understanding better. Right. Let's take a compound you have CHO, this is an aldehyde, then you have it methoxy group at the other end. This right. The other one obviously would be so this it does not contain any alpha hydrogens, the other one should be HCHO. sodium hydroxide 50% concentrated so since we have formic acid so as per this rule this will always oxidize right and this one will form CH2OH right I hope this is clear now let's look at the other reaction, intramolecular, that is when Canizaro reaction takes place within the molecule. Right, let me just rub this off. So, we'll be looking at the reaction. Let's take a compound, right, which is such that it can be reduced and oxidized within the same molecule. The compound that we will take here is to show intermolecular. Let me write it over here. Intermolecular Canizaro reaction. We will take the compound glyoxyl that contains two CHO group. Right? The compound is glyoxyl. Right? CHO, CHO. Now, since this is your, we said this is intramolecular. That means within the same molecule. Here, earlier, what was happening is one molecule was getting reduced to an alcohol, the other molecule is getting oxidized. But here, this, since this reaction, which is intramolecular, is occurring within the same molecule. Right, so the same molecule should have two aldehyde groups. One aldehyde group in one of the product, two products will get formed here. Right, 
or no sorry two products will not get formed since it has two aldehyde groups right one of the aldehyde group will get oxidized and the other will reduce right why because this is intramolecular reaction this oxidation and reduction is taking place within the same molecule so this is intramolecular cannizolo reaction so in presence of sodium hydroxide 50 percent concentrated one will reduce and other will oxidize right the one that will get reduce will form an alcohol right this is hcho right this is cho so it will form this ch2oh group right as for that the one that we have seen earlier this will form you have oh you have h and you have h this is reduced right and the other one this one will oxidize right in oxidation it will form acid right now with in the presence of dilute acid it will undergo hydrolysis right you treat this product with with dilute hydrochloric acid it will form this compound and the name of this compound is glycolic acid right it is your glycolic acid i hope this is clear this is intramolecular just try to understand when we say intramolecular that means we have to take such a compound that contains two aldehyde group because in canizoro reaction we have oxidation and reduction taking place at two aldehyde groups we can in simple one we can take two compounds that has aldehyde groups right but that should not contain any alpha hydrogens now when we are talking about in, intramolecular right this is your intramolecular i'm sorry intramolecular this is your intermolecular now this is your intramolecular that is within the same molecule we should have these aldehydes two aldehyde groups in in the same molecule so compounds that contains two aldehyde groups will show intramolecular canizoro reaction so when you have such a compound this is your glyoxal one will oxidize and the other will reduce the one that gets reduced will form alcohol as per this it will form ch2oh the other this one will get oxidized it will form coh which will react with sodium hydroxide to form ona it will hydrolyze to form this glycolic acid right i hope this is clear now the other compound that we can take is this here also in the same molecule we have in the same molecule we have two cho groups so this compound can also show intramolecular hydrogen uh, canizoro reaction sorry intramolecular canizoro reaction 50% now what it will form is one will get oxidized and the other will get reduced right this is a simple reaction now this one will form ch2oh say this one will get reduced as per this and this one will get oxidized and it will react with sodium hydroxide to form this now you can treat it with hcl right if you treat it with dilute hcl it will get hydrolyzed right it will undergo hydrolysis to form this compound right the name of this compound is sodium 2 hydroxy methyl benzoic right this is this one is sodium 2 hydroxy right 1 2 sodium 2 hydroxy methyl benzoic right now if we just if i write that this will undergo removal of water right dehydration this compound will undergo dehydration if i if i just write it like this 
right this is COOH group I can write it like this right now it will eliminate a water molecule right let me just rub this Now it will eliminate a water molecule, one hydrogen from here, OH from here, right? What it will form is thalite, right? Right, like this. This compound, it will form this compound after removing water molecule thalide and I hope this is clear so these two are examples of intramolecular canizoro reaction right where one of CHO group one CHO group is reduced to alcohol the other is oxidized to COOH which will react with sodium hydroxide to form its sodium salt it will on the on hydrolysis with dilute HCl it will form COOH Right, this one which will undergo dehydration to form thalite. This one, right? I hope this is clear. Right now, we are clear with canizoro, crossed canizoro, and intramolecular crossed canizoro reaction. Right now, although canizoro reaction is characteristic of aldehydes, right? It, it is a characteristic of aldehydes that contains no alpha hydrogens, right? But there are some exceptions to it, right? Like certain aliphatic monoalkylated aldehydes, right? Certain alkylated aldehydes, right? Undergo disproportionation reaction when treated with equix KOH. Like if I take this CH3CHO, when we say alkylated aldehydes, that means I remove two hydrogen atoms, say, with and replace it with CH3 like this. This is an alkylated aldehyde. Right? If I treat it with sodium hydroxide, this will show you canizoro reaction. Right? And what it will form is what it will form is same. This is your CHO. So this is an exception kind of thing. Right? CH2OH plus CH3, CH3, COO, any. This will get formed. Right, so the exceptional behavior, why, why it gets this? Because it, it contains, if you look at this compound, it contains alpha hydrogen, right? But it's, it will still show you this reaction. Right, what could be the reason? It may be due to, possibly it is due to the reason that due to plus I effect of two alkyl groups. These are two alkyl groups, right? And these are electron releasing plus I effect. That means it will release electron towards this carbon atom, right? The carbon ion of these aldehydes are not stable, right? The carbon ion that will get formed, right? If you look at the mechanism, the carbon ion that gets formed is not stable and hence do not undergo aldol condensation. Instead, these prefer to undergo nucleophilic attack by OH group. Since that a carbon ion is not stable, so hydroxyl ion will attack it. Right? Like we have studied in the mechanism of this reaction previously, that an OH ion will attack that aldehyde. So here also, due to plus I effect of these methyl groups, the carbon ion right, will not be stable. Right? The carbon ion of the aldehydes would not be stable and it would be attacked by OH group at the aldehydic carbon. At this carbon, right, at this, at this carbon, right, at this carbon, it would be attacked by the OH group. So when this carbon would be attacked by OH group, this is your canizoro reaction. That is why it undergoes canizoro reaction. Since this is your this is electron releasing, right? So this makes it less stable. So this positive carbon atom, right, which is your carbonyl carbon would be attacked by hydroxyl group, right, so it undergoes canizoro reaction, giving an intermediate, right, so when this would be attacked by OH, then it gives you an intermediate, if you remember the second step of canizoro reaction, hydride ion transfer will take place, so 